separately. I write separately from them. So I write the lyrics. I've got like a big book of lyrics, you know. And then they write some music and I try and make them fit. And then it all gets changed because it doesn't fit. <laughs> but that's, that's pretty much how it works. So I moved to Berlin after we finished this album. But we've been writing at the moment. We're sort of emailing things backwards and forwards. And whenever I'm in the country, we sort of get together and rehearse and stuff. It's pretty easy. It's quite a cheap flight from Berlin to London. It's not like I've gone very far away. I pretty much lived in Los Angeles for a year. That made it a lot harder, you know. So it's a, it's a lot easier. I didn't really know Federica, you know, and uh, I didn't really know Mike. We met him separately. I only really knew Ian. So, like, I think as the band's gone along, we've become closer friends. We used to argue a lot about musical taste and things, and now, now we all kind of agree. It's nice, I think, as the band's sort of gone along, we've become closer friends. So that's, that's cool, and that makes a difference to the sound. But no, it's so long now. It's like 15 minutes long or something. Because I... As I've had an extra verse, for, I love Vincent Van Gogh. And I, so I wanted to add that, and then I sort of added it, and then it's got further and further and further. And I sort of kept improvising, and now, yeah. One day we were going to play that song for like an hour and a half, and that would be the set. <laughs> but we're going to play modern art for an hour and a half. Thank you, good night. You know. But yeah, it's good. I like all that. I mean, all the stories are true, so they're really easy to update, you know. And then it's, a lot of that happens because I start talking a bit too much, and they carry on playing, you know, so it's, sort of, it's good. I, mean, I always think the difference is that in England people are quite cynical, you know. So when we first came out, people were like, oh, Emily Kane, ha ha, that's a funny song, you know. I bet she's not real. And then we played in places like America and Germany, and people would say, oh, Emily Kane, you must have really loved that girl. To me, you know, like, how's your brother? I mean, people sort of believe what I'm saying more in other countries than they do here, I think. People think I'm joking here a lot, I think. I couldn't work out for ages, actually, what the joke was. And I realised it's me. <laughs> like, oh, I'm the punchline to all these jokes. But I thought, yeah, it's just very honest songs, you know. So I think outside of the UK, people see us as more sincere, maybe. I think that's not true anymore here as well, I think. People understand now that I'm not, I'm not mucking about, really.